We as black and brown culture, we are the minority. We are the minority. We are not the majority, we are the minority. There is only a minority group of people in the minorities that are pro-Trump. That is not the majority, that is the minority. We've seen that with Biden. For all of these people that have been casted, that have been paid money, I know this game. Let me put y'all up on game. I know this game. Trump and his team are putting signs in people's hands that said, blacks and Latinos for Trump. He's paying their money, and a lot of them are not even blacks or Latinos. And they're holding signs. So you think he's paying, he's paying, I mean, we've heard this. Listen, he's yeah. paying them to stand there with their signs. Yeah. It's called casting. Anything that ends up in the four corners of that camera is what gets sent out to the world. It is a perception. And he knows TV better than anyone. Okay, so most yeah. people that vote for Trump, let me just tell you this, okay? If nobody has told you, most of the people who are going to vote for Trump will never be vocal or outspoken about that choice. For the people that are vocal and outspoken about it, they're always going to get attacked. They're gonna deal with the scrutiny, they're gonna deal with the backlash because he is a fucking dictator. Voting for Trump is saying I'm voting for Adolf Hitler. That's what it is. So if you're gonna be a Trump supporter, you're not gonna post about it. You're not gonna be on Instagram. You're not gonna be on Twitter. But a lot, a lot of people who are voting for him, they're not racist. They're not. I am not what, saying. Yeah. I am not saying that every person who is voting for Trump represents everything that he represents. Of course. Of but course. I cannot go out and date sure. an obvious homophobe or a, a, a someone that's anti-Muslim or somebody who is uh, anti-Semitic and been very public about it and then say I'm gonna vote for them and not act as if my views don't represent their views. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. Okay, so yeah. you gotta understand that we, the general public, we are not smart enough to say, oh, you're voting for the things that the world agree with Trump on and you're throwing out everything else. No, he represents all of it. So at the end of the day, I want y'all to know, like, at the, you know, if you are voting for Trump, whether you're black, you're white, you're Latino, you're straight, you're a woman, you're a man, when you say, I'm gonna vote for him over Biden, or vote for him over Kamala Harris, you are aligning yourself with his intentions, his worldview. When he called the people in Charlotte holding them flames, they're good people. On both sides, yeah. They're good people, the good people don't drive vehicles through cars that are out protesting and being vocal about what they stand for. That's, that's. And they don't go out there chanting things like Jews will not replace no, us and other. No, no. Yeah, no, of course. No, come on, they don't wear white sheets. Those Cover are not their good faces, people. Yep. Historically, yep. black people being hung on trees, everything about voter suppression, everything about telling women what they could do and can't do with their bodies, those are not good people. We gonna see out. We gonna see you out there stumping for Kamala if you want to. Man, listen, uh, I got I got an event coming up. Uh, uh, Kamala Harris is, is doing something. You know, I think it's the Democratic National Convention. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to get in there right now. You know what I mean? <laughs>